This is 7.4 arc length. Um, this uh, beginning of it says the distance between two points x1, y1 and x2, y2 can be found using the distance formula given by this here, which you probably have seen in algebra or in pre-calculus. The definition of arc length, however, though, is for a function f of x that represents a smooth curve on a closed interval a, b. The arc length, so basically the length between a and b, but along a curve instead of just a straight line. Um, can be found using this formula. And then similarly for a smooth curve in terms of y, um, you can find the arc length using this formula here. Okay, so example one says find the distance between two points using the distance formula and the arc length formula. And I think one thing that I forgot to put on here is the equation or I'm sorry, the points. So let me grab that real quick. Okay, here we go. We've got zero, one, and 12 comma negative four. So, um, in order for us to use a distance formula, or we can actually use a distance formula right away. So we'll plug that into the distance formula. This is part A, and we're gonna get the square root of x2, 1, 12, minus x1, which is zero. So the difference in x values. Now, since I put this x value first, I have to also put this y value first. And so then I get the square root of 144 plus 25, which is the square root of 169, which is 13. Okay, so they are 13 units length away from each other. Now, part B is a little bit harder because for part B, I have to have a function here and then I have to take the derivative of that function. So I don't have the function between these two points, but if I were to use the uh, formula to find the equation of the line between those two points, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, that could help me to figure out what is the um, equation of this line. So y minus, and I'm going to use this point because it's a little bit easier than, no, actually this point's going to be better so I don't have fractions. So y negative 4 equals negative 5 twelfths times x minus 12. Okay. And if I minus one on both sides, I get, or minus four on both sides, I get negative five twelfths x plus one. So this is my function here. But in order for me to find the arc length, I need to know what's the derivative of this function here, which is just the negative five twelfths, okay? So if I square this, I will get 25 over 144, and then if I add 1, I will have uh, 144 plus 25, I think I already did that, 169 over 144, okay? So if I plug that in here, I'm going to take the integral from a to b, so from one x value to the other, so from zero to 12, and then the square root of one plus y prime squared. Well, y prime squared plus one is 169 over 144. So really, I am calculating um, 13 over 12. 
So if I integrate that, I get 13 over 12x from 0 to 12. And if I plug that in, the 12 will cancel that out, I'll get 13. And if I plug in 0, I'll get 0. So I still get that same 13 as I did before. Okay. This, the purpose of this example is just to kind of prove to you that it does give you the distance whether you're traveling along a straight line or whether you're traveling on a curve, okay? But for the remainder of our examples, we will be having functions given to us and they will be curved functions, not straight lines.